comfort food really comfortable for you? Maybe temporarily it is, but not long term. Uh, most of those who turn to comfort food, it's some emotional trigger, uh, something they do to make them feel better temporarily, but in the end, it probably makes you feel not so good and long term, you have some health issues from that. Uh, a lot of times when we turn to comfort food, we're eating late at night, we're eating foods that aren't good for us or snacks or treats, and it kind of bogs us down. I know some people even eat when they're not hungry. It's just emotional eating, and some people actually never even feel hungry. Um, you should get that sensation of hunger if you have a good, efficient metabolism, and then you eat when you're hungry. When I'm hungry is when I eat. If I'm not hungry, I don't eat. But I realize that some people don't even feel hunger or it's very rare to even feel that way. And that's because either they're always snacking and eating or their metabolism is very sluggish and their body's just out of whack and they're not really doing what they should be doing for health as far as nutrition goes. And a lot of times we just have to think about what we're doing and why we're doing it. You know, people will go to the movies and they're just sitting there lounging and they get all the junk food, popcorn, sodas, chips, junk food, candy. Why? It's comfortable while you're watching the movie? Well, you could make better choices too. You could bring your own popcorn from home, uh, cooked in coconut oil. You could get Himalayan bag popcorn and bring it with you. Or just eat a really good meal before the movie and take water with you. Why do you have to eat snacks just because it's a movie? And anything you buy at the movie theater is going to be horrible for your health. So I would not buy any of those snacks at the movie theater. And then, like I said, a lot of times we have stressful days, we get home from work, we're eating late into the night, we're comforting ourselves with chips and sugar and you know, all, this, all the things that aren't good for our body. And if you think back in the hunter-gatherer days, you know, where did we get our sweets from? We got that from, you know, raw honey, uh, berries, maybe a little bit of maple syrup. Uh, man has created all the junk food we have today, like Little Debbie cakes, Chips Ahoy cookies, Dunkin' Donuts, sodas, Doritos, Lay's potato chips, all that stuff was just created and there's nothing natural in it and it's not going to help your body be vibrant, well, and healthy. So your comfort food usually is harming you and you just have to really think about it pay attention to what you're doing and uh, use those critical thinking skills to get yourself out of it. Uh, I know the comfort part is pretty hard, but maybe find some other things to do. Like sometimes after dinner, I want a little treat. So maybe I'll have a Hue brand, H-U, uh, chocolate, but I'll have maybe two or three squares. Theirs is much cleaner. They don't use any harmful ingredients. Or maybe I'll get a simple Mills brand uh, chocolate brownie mix. 
of their ingredients are clean too. They don't use dyes, high fructose corn syrup, they don't use trans fats, and they're actually pretty tasty. Uh, I also, my husband and I got our own organic popcorn and we cooked it in coconut oil and we used real salt, um, Redmond's real salt. You can also use Celtic salt and enjoy a little bit of popcorn after dinner, uh, but not at nine o'clock at night, okay? And we try to eat dinner early between five and 6 p.m. and not snacking late into the night. Try exercise, finding some form of exercise that you enjoy. That can release a lot of stress and tension and um, can be really good for your brain and make you feel a lot better. Even if you exercise 20 or 30 minutes and you start sweating and you get your heart rate up, that can have profound effects on your health and your mental health too. And so try some other things besides the things that are harmful for you. So certain comfort foods are not comfortable long-term. They just create poor quality of life and get you in a vicious cycle. And just really be thinking about what you're doing and um, try to let your body eat when it's hungry. And if you don't have a good metabolism, then you might need to be taking digestive enzymes, working out more, or making corrections on areas where you have deficiencies and you're not creating an, an efficient uh, metabolism. Because when you have an efficient metabolism, you will feel hunger and food will taste great when you eat it. And then you stop when you're satisfied. You don't gorge yourself and overstuff yourself. And I find healthy eating to be wonderful. My taste buds love it. They don't like McDonald's. They don't like Debbie cakes. They don't like Doritos. Once you get everything corrected, you won't like the junk food anymore and you'll wonder why you ever ate it in the first place. So be comfortable, but in the right ways. Don't go for the comfort food that's not good for you. And think about what your body really needs because look at our vehicles. Do we think about putting junk into them or our pets? No, we want to nourish them and keep them going as long as possible. And you should be doing that for your own human body. All right, you guys have got this. And if you need any help, reach out. Um, I am doing a 30 day healing foods cleanse very soon towards the end of September. And that might be something great to jump into just a 30 day reset to get you where you need to be. All right, have a great day.